The practice of chanting and gongyo holds profound significance in Nichiren Buddhism, serving as a gateway to spiritual growth, inner transformation, and a deeper connection with the mystic law. These sacred rituals are not mere recitations but powerful vehicles for manifesting the innate Buddha nature within each individual. As Nichiren Daishonin, the revered founder of this tradition, stated, when one chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the Buddha nature of one's mind manifests itself at once. The chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the essential mantra of Nichiren Buddhism, is a fundamental practice that resonates with the rhythm of the universe itself. This sacred title encapsulates the entirety of the Lotus Sutra, the highest teaching of Shakyamuni Buddha, and is believed to possess the power to eradicate delusion and reveal the boundless potential inherent in all beings. As Nichiren Daishonin eloquently proclaimed, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the quintessence of the Lotus Sutra, and the Lotus Sutra is the quintessence of all the Buddhist sutras. The act of chanting itself is a profound expression of faith and a means of connecting with the universal life force that permeates all existence. Through the rhythmic recitation of the mantra, practitioners engage in a powerful form of meditative practice, harnessing the transformative power of sound vibrations to purify their minds and awaken their Buddha nature. As Nichiren Daishonin taught, the Dai Moku, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is the great life force, the Buddha nature inherent in all beings. The practice of Gangyo holds equal significance in Nichiren Buddhism. Gangyo is the recitation of specific portions of the Lotus Sutra, including the Lifespan and Universal Worthy chapters, as well as the chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This ritual is typically performed in the morning and evening, establishing a sacred rhythm to one's daily life and strengthening one's connection to the mystic law. In his writings, Nichiren Daishonin emphasized the profound importance of Gangyo, stating, if you wish to attain Buddhahood, you should first chant the Lotus Sutra. He further explained, the Lotus Sutra is the heart and eye of all the Buddhas of the three existences in the ten directions and the great truth that they attained. The guidelines for chanting and Gangyo practice are rooted in a profound respect for the teachings and a commitment to personal transformation. Practitioners are encouraged to approach these rituals with a sincere and focused mindset, creating a sacred space free from distractions. It is recommended to perform these practices in a quiet, peaceful environment, where one can fully immerse themselves in the resonance of the mantra and the profundity of the sutra recitations. Throughout the centuries, Nichiren Buddhist scholars have offered valuable insights and guidance on the correct posture, mindset, and etiquette for engaging in these sacred practices. One such scholar, Niko Shonen, a direct disciple of Nichiren Daishonin, emphasized the importance of maintaining a respectful and reverent attitude during chanting and gongyo. He advised practitioners to sit upright, with their hands joined in the gasho position, symbolizing the unity of one's body and mind with the mystic law. Another renowned figure, Nichikan Shonen, emphasized the power of chanting with a focused and unwavering mind. He taught, when you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, you must summon up a deep faith that this is the soul of the Lotus Sutra and the essence of the Buddha's life force. His teachings underscored the significance of cultivating a profound reverence for the mantra and its transformative potential. In addition to these contemporary Nichiren Buddhist leaders have continued to provide guidance on the proper execution of chanting and gongyo practices. They have emphasized the importance of consistency, encouraging practitioners to establish a regular routine and to approach these rituals with a spirit of joy and gratitude. Throughout the narrative of Nichiren Buddhism, the practice of chanting and gongyo has been revered as a means of personal empowerment, spiritual growth, and the manifestation of one's inherent Buddha nature. Nichiren Daishonin himself declared, If you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with a firm belief that this teaching is true, you will naturally transcend the sufferings of birth and death. In essence, the guidelines for chanting and Gangyo practice serve as a beacon, illuminating the path towards personal transformation and spiritual awakening. By adhering to these principles and embracing the teachings with sincere faith, practitioners can unlock the boundless potential within and contribute to the creation of a more harmonious and enlightened world.
As we delve deeper into the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice, it becomes evident that these rituals are not merely mechanical recitations but rather profound expressions of one's commitment to the mystic law and the pursuit of enlightenment. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings throughout the centuries have provided a rich tapestry of wisdom that guides practitioners in their journey. One of the central tenets of Nichiren Buddhism is the concept of attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime. This notion challenges the conventional belief that enlightenment is a distant, unattainable goal, reserved for a select few. Instead, Nichiren Daishonin proclaimed that through the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and embracing the teachings of the Lotus Sutra, individuals can manifest their innate Buddha nature and experience profound transformation in the present moment. As Nichiren Daishonin declared, the Dai Moku, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is the great seed from which all Buddhas and all living beings spring. This powerful statement underscores the transformative potential inherent in the mantra, which, when chanted with unwavering faith and determination, can serve as the catalyst for personal and collective awakening. The guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice emphasize the importance of cultivating a deep and unshakable belief in the efficacy of these practices. Nichiren Daishonin himself taught, no matter what hardships or persecutions one may encounter, if one has faith in the Lotus Sutra, one will ultimately attain Buddhahood. This unwavering faith is not blind adherence but rather a profound trust in the transformative power of the mystic law, born from personal experience and a deep understanding of the teachings. As one's practice deepens, this faith becomes a wellspring of strength, resilience, and fortitude enabling practitioners to navigate life's challenges with a sense of clarity and equanimity. Furthermore, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice underscore the significance of consistency and perseverance. Nichiren Daishonin urged his followers to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with great vigor and determination, as if to extinguish a raging fire. This metaphor captures the intensity and commitment required to sustain a regular practice, even in the face of adversity or doubt. Consistency in chanting and gongyo enables practitioners to establish a profound connection with the mystic law, fostering a state of heightened awareness and spiritual clarity. As Nichikan Shonen eloquently expressed, the more one chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the more the heart of faith expands and the more one's inherent Buddha nature manifests itself. Moreover, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice emphasize the importance of cultivating a spirit of gratitude and appreciation for the teachings and the sacrifices made by countless practitioners throughout history. Nichiren Daishonin's own life was marked by immense hardship and persecution, yet he remained steadfast in his commitment to propagating the mystic law, driven by a profound sense of compassion and a desire to liberate all beings from suffering. In this spirit, Practitioners are encouraged to approach their chanting and gongyo practice with a sense of reverence and humility, recognizing the profound lineage of which they are a part. As Nichiren Daishonin exhorted, no matter what great trials or persecutions you may encounter, chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with a compassionate spirit to save all beings. Ultimately, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice serve as a beacon, illuminating the path towards personal transformation spiritual awakening, and the realization of one's innate Buddha nature. By embracing these principles with unwavering faith, consistency, and a spirit of gratitude, practitioners can tap into the boundless potential within and contribute to the creation of a more harmonious and enlightened world. Our exploration of the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice, we must acknowledge the profound significance of these rituals not only for personal growth but also for the collective well-being of society and the planet. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings emphasize the interconnectedness of all life and the fundamental truth that individual happiness is inextricably linked to the happiness of others. As he stated, if you wish to free yourself from the sufferings of birth and death, you have to practice for the sake of all people. This philosophy of compassion and concern for the welfare of all beings permeates the very core of Nichiren Buddhism. The guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice encourage practitioners to transcend a narrow, self-centered perspective and cultivate an expansive vision of harmony and peace for all. As Nichiren Daishonin proclaimed, 
Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the great seed from which all Buddhas and all living beings spring. This potent mantra carries within it the power to awaken the inherent Buddha nature not only within ourselves but also within all sentient beings, fostering a profound sense of unity and interconnectedness. Through the practice of chanting in Gangyo, individuals are urged to channel their efforts towards the betterment of society and the alleviation of suffering on a global scale. Nichiren Daishonin himself embodied this spirit, tirelessly advocating for peace and social justice, even in the face of persecution and exile. As he declared, the purpose of the appearance in this world of Shakyamuni Buddha, the Lord of Teachings, lies in his behavior as a human being. The guidelines for chanting and gangyo practice encourage practitioners to cultivate a deep respect for the environment and the natural world. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings emphasize the inherent dignity and interconnectedness of all life forms, urging his followers to embrace a reverence for the delicate balance of nature. As he stated, since all living beings equally share the Buddha nature, they all possess the seeds of enlightenment. Practitioners are encouraged to approach their chanting and gangyo practice with a heightened awareness of their impact on the planet, recognizing that the pursuit of enlightenment is inextricably linked to the preservation and protection of the earth. By aligning their actions with the principles of sustainability and environmental stewardship, they can contribute to the creation of a more harmonious and resilient world. The guidelines for chanting and gangyo practice emphasize the importance of fostering a sense of community and collective support among practitioners. Nichiren Daishonin himself experienced the profound power of solidarity and shared purpose during his years of persecution and exile. As he declared, if you persist in the practice of the Lotus Sutra, you will be able to overcome all obstacles. Practitioners are encouraged to cultivate a sense of camaraderie and mutual support recognizing that the path towards enlightenment is not a solitary journey but a collective endeavor. Through shared practice, dialogue, and the exchange of experiences, individuals can draw strength and inspiration from one another, deepening their understanding of the teachings and their commitment to the mystic law. The guidelines for chanting and gangyo practice serve as a beacon, illuminating the path towards personal transformation, societal harmony, and environmental stewardship. By embracing these principles with unwavering faith, compassion, and a commitment to the collective well-being of all life, practitioners can contribute to the creation of a more enlightened, just, and sustainable world, a world where the inherent Buddha nature of all beings can truly flourish. As we continue to explore the profound depths of the guidelines for chanting and gangyo practice, it becomes increasingly evident that these rituals are not merely spiritual exercises but rather a holistic approach to living a life imbued with purpose, wisdom, and compassion. One of the core tenets that underpin the guidelines is the notion of changing poison into medicine. This metaphorical concept speaks to the transformative power of Nichiren Buddhism, which enables practitioners to transmute even the most challenging circumstances into opportunities for growth and personal transformation. Nichiren Daishonin himself faced immense adversity and persecution throughout his life, yet he remained steadfast in his belief that these trials were not obstacles to be avoided but rather catalysts for cultivating resilience, fortitude, and a deeper understanding of the mystic law. As he proclaimed, persecutions and obstacles are like flames that temper and strengthen the mind's resolve. The guidelines for chanting and gangyo practice encourage practitioners to embrace life's challenges with a fearless and unwavering spirit, recognizing that each difficulty presents an opportunity for personal growth and the manifestation of one's inherent Buddha nature. As Nichiren Daishonin taught, if you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with a firm belief that this teaching is true, you will naturally transcend the sufferings of birth and death. The guidelines emphasize the importance of cultivating a mindset of gratitude and appreciation for the lessons that emerge from adversity. Nichiren Daishonin himself expressed profound gratitude for the persecutions he endured, stating, I am grateful for the sufferings I have encountered, for they have enabled me to establish my faith in the Lotus Sutra. By embracing this perspective, practitioners can transform even the most daunting challenges into opportunities for personal growth fostering a sense of resilience and fortitude that transcends the limitations of circumstance.
The guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice encourage practitioners to adopt a holistic approach to personal development, recognizing that true enlightenment encompasses the harmonious integration of body, mind, and spirit. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings underscore the importance of cultivating a balanced and disciplined lifestyle, one that nurtures physical, mental, and spiritual well being. Practitioners are encouraged to incorporate elements of self care, such as regular exercise, mindful eating, and adequate rest, into their daily routines. These practices not only support physical health but also contribute to a heightened state of mental clarity and emotional equilibrium, enabling practitioners to approach their chanting and gongyo practice with a focused and centered mindset. The guidelines emphasize the importance of engaging in continuous learning and intellectual growth, recognizing that the path towards enlightenment is a lifelong journey of discovery and exploration. Nichiren Daishonin himself was a prolific scholar who encouraged his followers to diligently study the Lotus Sutra and the writings of Nichiren Buddhism. By embracing this spirit of intellectual curiosity and lifelong learning, practitioners can deepen their understanding of the mystic law, gaining insights that enrich their spiritual practice and enable them to navigate the complexities of life with wisdom and discernment. Ultimately, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice serve as a comprehensive blueprint for living a life of profound meaning, purpose, and personal growth. By integrating these principles into their daily lives, practitioners can cultivate a state of harmony and balance, transcending the limitations of circumstance and manifesting their inherent Buddha nature in every aspect of their existence. Further into the profound guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice, we encounter a dimension that transcends the personal realm and extends into the vast expanse of humanity's collective consciousness. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings throughout the centuries have illuminated the transformative potential of these practices, not only for individual growth but also for the betterment of society as a whole. One of the central principles underpinning the guidelines is the concept of Buddhist humanism, a philosophy that recognizes the inherent dignity and worth of every human being regardless of their circumstances or background. Nichiren Daishonin himself embodied this spirit, tirelessly advocating for the empowerment of the oppressed and marginalized, and challenging the social injustices of his time. As he declared, the purpose of the appearance in this world of Shakyamuni Buddha, the Lord of Teachings, lies in his behavior as a human being. This profound statement underscores the importance of embodying the teachings in practical, tangible ways that uplift and empower individuals and communities. In this spirit, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice encourage practitioners to cultivate a deep sense of compassion and concern for the well-being of others, transcending the boundaries of race, creed, or social status. By chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with a spirit of inclusivity and a commitment to the universal happiness of all beings, practitioners can contribute to the creation of a more just, equitable, and harmonious society. Furthermore, the guidelines emphasize the importance of actively engaging in efforts to promote social justice, human rights, and sustainable development. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings remind us that true enlightenment cannot be achieved in isolation but rather through a collective endeavor that addresses the root causes of suffering and inequality. In this vein, Practitioners are encouraged to apply the principles of Nichiren Buddhism to their interactions with the broader community, fostering dialogues that bridge divides, promote mutual understanding, and inspire collective action towards positive change. As Nichiren Daishonin exhorted, if you care anything about your personal security, you should first of all pray for order and tranquility throughout the four quarters of the land. Moreover, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice underscore the significance of environmental stewardship and the protection of our planet's fragile ecosystems. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings emphasize the interconnectedness of all life forms and the profound reverence we must hold for the delicate balance of nature. As he stated, since all living beings equally share the Buddha nature, they all possess the seeds of enlightenment. This profound insight reminds us that our pursuit of enlightenment is inextricably linked to the well-being of the natural world, and that our actions have far-reaching consequences for the sustainability of our planet. In this spirit, practitioners are encouraged to embrace a lifestyle of mindfulness and conscious consumption, 
minimizing their ecological footprint and actively participating in efforts to protect and restore the Earth's precious resources. By aligning their actions with the principles of environmental conservation, they can contribute to the creation of a more sustainable and harmonious world for present and future generations. Ultimately, the guidelines for chanting and gongyo practice extend beyond the realm of personal transformation and into the vast expanse of humanity's collective consciousness. By embodying the spirit of Buddhist humanism, compassion, social justice, and environmental stewardship, practitioners can harness the transformative power of these practices to create ripples of positive change that reverberate throughout the world, fostering a more enlightened, equitable, and sustainable future for all.